In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use quads sets to attack every single coverage in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for watching today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, uh, maybe you've never met me before. My name is Cody, and what we do here is we upload tips and tricks about Madden 21 every single day. We teach you how to get better on the offensive side of the ball, how to get better on the defensive side of the ball. And so if that's something that you're interested in, if you're trying to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. I upload new videos every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And I'll also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on my channel. So uh, real quick, I wanted to jump in and break down one of my favorite plays in Madden 21, and that is spot from the gun bunch quads. And there's a lot that you can do with this play um, to make it even better than it looks right here, but it's such a powerful play. And I absolutely love bunch quads. And the part of the reason I like bunch quads is I believe that this gives you a very simple read. It's very difficult for the defense to be able to blitz this because you have four wide receivers to one side with this so nice solo receiver. I really like how that plays out. So if you're facing cover two man, really quickly here, all you're going to do, there, I really don't even make any adjustments to this play. The one adjustment that I would make if I was going to make an adjustment is I would take uh, Aaron Jones here and I would put him on a drag or um, just leave him on a streak. That's fine. Um, and I could take Devin Funches and motion him out on the slant. So essentially I'm going to motion him to the right and I'm going to snap the ball. So I put him on a slant, motion him to the right, snap the ball. As you see right there, he's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage right to the middle of the field very easily, very easily, right? Um, it's it's going to be wide open. The next thing that you're going to be able to do is let's say that they use or that slant. If they use or the slant route, this rack side route to Devontae Adams is almost always going to torch man-to-man -to -man as long as you have a receiver that has 90 or higher deep route running. That's kind of the key threshold for you to be able to, to throw this route. So, um, again, I just like the slant and that post combo. That's pretty much all I do against man. And I know that it's simple, but um, it's, it's actually very, very effective. Now, you could leave Funches on this route, this little spot route. Um, you'll be surprised at how well that does against man-to-man -man coverage. It actually doesn't do too bad. Another little thing that I'll do from time to time is I might do something like this. I might take Lazard and put him on a little uh, hitch route, take Jones, put him on a curl. If you, if you really want to go all out and beat me in coverage, this right here does a really, really good job. Because basically that hitch route um, is, it serves as a natural pick for the slant route to be able to get open um, against pretty much anything the defense wants to do. Um, and then one other thing that you can do is you can obviously take the tight end and put him on a little drag route. Um, and that drag is oftentimes going to take their user out of the middle of the field and you're going to be able to hit that slant. So... Really motion slant in the post route to Devontae Adams. Now, I typically like to smart route this route to Devontae Adams. I think it's going to make this work even better. You'll see if they get a little bit of a press win animation, then you're kind of reliant upon the route running to be able to get open. So just be aware of that. You don't want um, someone that doesn't have good route running to be able to, to, to go against this. Another thing you can do with this is you could motion Lazard to the right side. You see his little route is going to do a pretty good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. But again, I would just stick with the – you really the, – the benefit of quads is what it can do against zone coverage, especially zone blitzes and things like that. But you have four wide receivers to one side of the field. Um, and I really don't want to mess with that, right? I really want to be able to just simply flood the zones. Uh, and what you'll see is against zone coverage, this route to Devontae Adams is still going to get open. Um, it's going to get open against every zone in the game. There's not one zone in the game that's going to be able to cover this route, and that's what makes it such a good play because you have that simple motion, really quick motion, right? But then you have this power route. That route is a power route, meaning they're going to have to devote a user defender to being able to stop it. They're not going to be able to stop it really with anything else um, that they're going to be able to do. The one thing they might do is they might blitz it, and that's where your hot reads are going to come in. But as you can see, he's going to cross right underneath um, – right underneath most zone uh, pretty much every zone coverage let me show you that one more time uh, we got a little bit of a bad a uh, little bit of a bad animation on that place so I just want to show you what it looks like when it's this is just cover three but you'll see right here see how it comes un underneath it that's what we're really looking for um, and you have that outside fade that pulls that space um, so you can hit that route to Devonte Adams 
Now, the next thing that you can do from this is you actually have a, a nice little high, high, low read. Now, as a general rule, what you want to do is you want to run your, your quads to the wide side of the field. You don't really want to run them to the short side. So in this, you'll see now I'm going to have a lot more space to be able to run um, this basic flood concept to the, to the right side. And I could smart route Lazard if it was a first and 10 situation. And what you'll see is if they run zone coverage um, and they don't play hard flats, you can easily hit your tight end. So if they don't jump out to the flats to take the tight end, then I can easily check down to that. However, if they do play down on the tight end, you know, you're basically running essentially just a high low read. Um, but you'll see how see how that deep fade route from the back is going to pull those zones and it's going to give you a lot more of a window um, to be able to hit this as a consistent yard gainer. You know, this is just, this is simply something that I think is really, really consistent. You see, if they sit on the tight end, it's just a simple flood. That's all we're trying to do is flood the zones. I think this play does a really, really good job of doing that. Um, I would highly recommend smart routing that corner route if you're in a first and 10. Um, if you're in a short yardage situation, it's not going to help you that much. But what you'll see is even, you see here against cover through if, cover two, if that's a cloud flat, you want to be checking that down to the to the tight end. So that's just kind of an FYI. But, but you'll see, I mean, even with this thing coming from the short side of the field, uh, Devontae Adams is still going to consistently just get open. Um, right there, I threw it. I, I threw it a little bit early. We'll show you that one more time. But while we're doing that, I want to talk about my text message membership. Um, my text message membership is completely free. It's something that I've been doing for about 10 weeks. It's my 10th week doing it. And basically what we do is every single week in Madden, we break down one high-level meta scheme. It might be the Carolina gun bunch. It might be the nickel 35 wide, maybe the big nickel over G. Um, we've done the a slot offset from new England. We've done all kinds of stuff, right? Um, but basically we sit down for about an hour and we break that scheme down in full for you guys. We give you the full setup. It's the full way to run it. The, everything you need to know, um, about how to run it and get it you know, get really, really good at it. So if you want to receive those schemes, you'll get all of the schemes that we've already completed, as well as any scheme that we're going to add to it in the future, uh, which we add new schemes every single week to it. Um, so if you want to get those, all you got to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen right now. Um, and it's also in the descri description. So shoot me a text message. Let me know you'd like to receive those videos and I'll shoot those your way. I want to thank you guys so much for your time tonight and I hope you enjoyed the video.